Hello, this is Dr. Lee Hildebrand. I'm the Director of Lakeshore Psychology Services in Mequon, Wisconsin. I also do executive coaching and other types of coaching around the country and public speaking. And I am here today uh, for one of my YouTube videos following Mother's Day to talk about how was Mother's Day for you. Now what prompted this topic was as I looked at Mother's Day and, and took a look at what it meant to me and what it meant to family members, I started to see through social media and other venues, uh, that, and I see it in my work as well, that Mother's Day can mean different things to different people. And a lot of that depends on what their relationships with their mother has traditionally been. Now, there. let's start with the first category. Those are people that have had an amazing relationship with your mother. Your mother was there for you. Uh, she provided support. You knew that she was always your biggest fan. Uh, there was no doubt in your mind uh, about you know, how important you were to her. And then she showed this through actions. This might have meant baking you cookies, making sure that you had what you needed, your school lunch, that you uh, were provided for. She may have been a contributor to the household or a primary contributor to the household financially. Uh, and just really exemplifying a, a servant leadership in regard to parenting you and encourage you and helping you. Now for people in this situation, uh, Mother's Day can be an incredible holiday. Um, it can be so fun to reach out to your mother and express to her how much she means to you, to take her out to brunch, uh, to have some conversation and focus and, and to be able to celebrate who she is. For many of us, our mother is one of the most important figures in our lives. In fact, all of the categories that I'm about to touch on, uh, mother, the figure of mother, father too, but we're focusing on motherhood today. It's just one of the most crucial relationships that we will have in our lives and one of the most impactful. And for those that have had an incredibly positive experience, uh, this is meaningful, it's foundational, and it just really helps provide a basis of encouragement for anything that you would do. In fact, when you're out there climbing your mountains in life and you're, you're seeking to accomplish things and become the best you that you can, you always know that you can go home to mom. You always know that you can go home and taste mom's cooking. You all, always know that you can give mom a call and she's going to listen. Now others have had uh, pretty good moms, moms that are really pretty good overall that you care about, you appreciate a lot, and, and then you know all of us are human. None of us are perfect and moms are people too. Sometimes moms can have a bad day, they can have a bad year, uh, and sometimes moms can struggle, uh, of course, with all kinds of challenges, whether it be mental health or physical issues that come up, relationship type of issues, and that can definitely have an impact on us too at times. Uh, in this situation, uh, you still, it's a situation where you have a lot of appreciation and respect for your mother. You, you can see and know her humanness. You can identify with that humanness in you uh, for yourself where you're at in your life. And it's nice to be able to celebrate those mothers as well. Now, another category that I encountered uh, in regard to Mother's Day are those that have had a tremendous mother or a really good mother that have lost their mothers. Their mothers have passed away. They've experienced an illness. There may have been a, a sudden accident or situation like cancer that has taken your moms away from you. And that can be very difficult, incredibly difficult. And if I said earlier that moms are one of the most important figures in our lives, that kind of loss can be devastating. It can be one of the most difficult losses that you will ever face. And it's important to know if you're grieving the loss of a mother, whether it's been uh, five months or it's been a year or it's been 10 years, that the pain will change over time and of course you'll always have a sense of that loss of not being able today to just reach out and, and talk to mom and hear what she would have to say of course her presence will always be with you it amazes me how much a presence of these mothers are with people that talk about them 
you can just sense them. I've never met many of these mothers in the work that I do. And I have simultaneously heard through the person that I'm offering support or understanding to just how interwoven a person's a mother's spirit can be in a person's life and attitudes and even after passing. So I just want to say that uh, I, I understand and want to encourage you if you're going through some kind of grief uh, related to losing your mother that she will always be a crucial part of you. You'll always have a part of her in your heart and your mind uh, that you're going to be able to access. And I'm sure many of you talk to your mothers anyway. You talk to them in your thoughts and maybe even out loud uh, having some of those conversations with her, imagining that she's there. Some of you have had dreams about your mothers where your mothers in your dreams have been present with you and, and I hear it being described as it's as real as real life. Uh, that's a beautiful gift that some are given to have those types of dreams to have that impression there. In regard to the grieving, please know that there's no magic formula in terms of grief. There are certain things that can come up. They can be uh, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's series of things, including uh, denial, uh, anger, bargaining, like trying to maybe even bargain with God. If you just save mom, then I'll do anything. It can be some denial. Uh, it can be acceptance as well. And many people experience all of those things at different times related to grieving the loss of an amazing mother. Well, there's another kind of grief that happens uh, for those that have had mothers that were either absent or not there for you. Uh, they may have been narcissistic, meaning that most of their focus was on their themselves, what they're doing, what's important to them, and that you may have often felt like an afterthought or not very important in terms of what their priorities are were or the life decisions that they would make and there's a type of grieving that can happen there in two instances one instance is if you've lost a mother uh, to death where you've had that experience there can be a whole mix of feelings there can be a lot of grief and part of that grief is not having an opportunity to have a better relationship and another aspect is grieving the relationship that was there or the void that was there in terms of the relationship and in these situations it can be very Mother's Day can be extremely difficult uh, to feel some of those feelings in regard to that uh, that void that 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 some feel um, it can be incredibly painful um, especially when much of society uh, for instance on Mother's Day is assuming that Mother's Day is such a joyous occasion and is to be uh, a time of celebration and love, etc. Some people can feel like they're a bit isolated in the, the state of really not having had a mother that was really there for them in those ways. Some of you have had mothers that have been outright abusive. They might have been physically abusive to you, uh, hitting you or uh, hurting you in certain ways or allowing a another person to harm you whether that be like a step parent or a boyfriend or whatever the case would be that can be very painful in those situations and then there's the emotional abuse telling you that you're not good enough that you're not going to ever amount to anything um, being critical of what you do or setting expectations that are just through the roof and giving you a sense that you're an imposter and that you're never going to attain to being worthwhile or worth it. And then there's uh, mothers that are just absent. It's literally a spirit of negation, meaning that they're just not emotionally present. They're not sometimes physically present. They might be working all the time or they may be around but just not really around not focused on you not connecting with you not having the ability to be emotionally present and a lot of things can contribute for these moms it could have been trauma in the background that played into this a trauma that they 
didn't or were unwilling to deal with in order to heal emotionally and be able to be a good mother. Uh, there's a host of things that contribute to that. But regardless of what those things are, we all know that that's painful and that that can be just such a difficult situation. And every time there's a Mother's Day, for some of you, it's a little bit like salt in the wound in regard to this sense of negation and this loss in your life. Some of you may see friends of yours with amazing mothers and ask yourself or wonder, what would it be like to have a mother like that? What would it be like to have a mother that went to every game of yours or every event of yours? In fact, I was running a, a race just this past weekend and met a real cool friend on my run team and her mother goes has gone she said her mother was there at the race of course super nice her mother's taking pictures of her taking pictures of the group and um, she said yes my mother we have such a close relationship she's never missed any of my races and this is a you know this is an adult like this isn't just like cross country and track in high school like this is an adult that's running races um, you know in various places and this mom makes that effort and shows up at every race like wow how inspiring is that so some of you may look at situations where you see such a great mother like that and wonder what's that is like wonder what your life would be like if you had a mother that was present for you that was supportive of you in the way that you see with some of your friends now, in terms of the situation, nobody can make up for or magically heal that space that you have in your heart, that wound, that pain that you have. Some of the things that can help with that, one is letting go of the expectations that your mother will ever give you what you've always wanted, that they're gonna ever give you that attention that you've always wanted, that they're gonna give you that recognition that they're going to give you their full attention. In many of these situations, holding on to that hope can really become defeating and diminishing. And it can become more healthy to let go, to let go of those expectations and to accept that that is a high probability that that, that will never happen. And as part of that, to launch forward and think about who are the people in my life? Who are those in my life that can, that have helped me along the way in the journey? And who are those that I know today or that I can seek to get parts of that kind of nurturing that a mother would give, that encouragement? Uh, maybe it's an, an older lady that you know that, that that's kind of a pseudo mother to you, uh, that can give you encouragement. Maybe it's a coach. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, a mentor or a pastor. Maybe it is uh, someone else's mother that has kind of taken you under their wing or, or offered you encouragement or kind of jokingly said that uh, they're adopting you and taking you in. Um, these are the kinds of things that one needs to build on and to seek out, and that is to develop a tapestry in terms of that mother space in your heart of those that can meet some of those needs. And most of the time, not one of those people is going to meet all of those types of mothering needs that you may have. Even into adulthood, we have these kinds of needs. But it can be a process of finding those that can add little bits and pieces to that for you so that you can experience aspects of being appreciated, being loved on, being supported, being admired, being respected by a mother-like figures. Now in these situations, hopefully you haven't been a double winner, or if you want to put it the opposite, a double loser, meaning that both your mother and your father have not been supporting it in, in these ways. That can be extremely difficult. Luckily, there are some cases for some of you where your dad has just been a great dad. Even though your mom had some of these um, severe weaknesses and, 
limitations, etc., in really being a great mother to you. Your dad was an awesome dad. And that is something to celebrate and be grateful for and embrace. For others of you, as I said, you're a bit of a double winner, meaning that you've had two parent figures that have not traditionally been supportive or helpful and may even have been downright and outright abusive to you. I know that there's many of you out there that have had these kinds of experiences that are working really hard in your lives to be vibrant and to thrive and to overcome these obstacles. In fact, for some of you, this has added tremendous fuel to your fire in regard to the things that you're pursuing. I just want to encourage you, as I've met many of you in my work and just in life, uh, to continue to aspire to overcome those things. For some of you, those that don't know your background or your history could sit down and talk to you and then you tell them the history in, return, in regard to those two parents and they'd be surprised. And part of that surprise would be because you're such a healthy, functioning person that's adding value in the world, that's getting out there and getting after it that they're just surprised that you had such tough foundations. Good for you that that's the case. I just want to celebrate those of you that have been overcomers. I want to celebrate those of you that have been survivors. Those of you that have had the eye of the tiger and decided you're not going to allow those absences or that abuse or that lack to define you, to rule you, or to limit you in regard to your path and your successes. For all of us, in conclusion, Mother's Day has many meanings. I hope for you, this recent Mother's Day and any Mother's Day that you experience, that you're able to find positive angles to hold on to. And for those of you that are grieving for various reasons, uh, my hope is that you experience support you experience gratitude for the things that you have in your life. And that you always know that those good mothers that you've lost are in your heart. And that you always know that even though those not as good mothers that you've lost, or those mothers that still may be living that have not been good mothers, that you are a beautiful child of God, that you have inherent value that you are special and that you are important. And I just want to celebrate you today. I want to celebrate all of you and wish you well in this journey. And thank you for taking this time today to just reflect on this question. What was your Mother's Day like? And uh, please feel free, if, if this has been helpful to you, to share this with other people or to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and take care.